Good evening, Ice Cream Ninja Nation. This is your big homie, Fat Boy Jim, with a, uh, well, let's, we're, we're going to call it a, a review today. This is not a sponsored video. Uh, as much as uh, a couple years ago, uh, we redid, I actually, uh, Fat Boy Jim, redid uh, this 01 Silverado. If you're familiar with the channel, you're familiar with the truck. Uh, we absolutely replaced everything. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a uh, little review of the uh, Turbo Spray Rust-Oleum. So let's take a better look here. Uh, see if we can get a little, little wipe here. Yeah. I mean... Other than being dirty, uh, it's definitely held up. Originally, like I said, this video is not sponsored. It's not to criticize or anything else. Uh, take you a little closer here. Uh, this is uh, this is all Fat Boy Jim's uh, shabby body work. Uh, definitely, I am not a professional at this a uh, little run there tailgate not too bad not too bad at all but yeah I mean overall for a little bit over uh, uh, probably a hundred hundred and fifty bucks you know, which I need to straighten out some of this body work, as you can see. Uh, that is just really, really not cool. Uh, but it's the body work. It's not the paint. Got a pretty good gouge going down through there. Uh, but the upside is uh, this Rust-Oleum Turbo Spray. I mean, this is a low-budget project. Well, <laughs> depends on how you look at low-budget. Uh, but uh, anyway, the paint job was low budget. And the parts were, you know, is what it is. Uh, but yeah, I would definitely uh, use Rust-Oleum again. It's held up really nice over the past two years. Uh, let's go ahead and get under the hood of this. And uh, we'll get to exactly what's going on here today. But yeah, the uh, Rust-Oleum, we're going to redo these door jams too. I've seen a trick to this. So this would be the uh, before, and there's a little bit up on the roof there. I don't know if you can actually see that, but. Uh, so this does have the uh, 5.3 motor with the cold air intake uh, we did replace the motor just kind of checking that out a little bit uh, this this trucks just been a real experience getting it done a lot of fun it needs cleaned up show you all the things it needs cleaned up on it uh, let's start her up see what we got there she goes and uh, this is with the LED lights and everything she looks pretty good at night time not too bad not too bad it is my daughter's truck uh, I did personally build it for her but I don't know if you can actually hear it oh yeah I can hear it you hear that puffing okay well it's funny you should ask that because we have a kit well reckon it don't matter uh, but we'll show you anyway we're here might as well oh okay it must be in the back yeah there we go 
uh, new manifold gaskets going on it uh, we did put the custom dash in it so it'll take the double din radio uh, after a certain year it, Chevy changed to double din but uh, 01 which is what this is is not factory a double din radio it almost sounds like there's a leak on this side too but uh yeah new manifold gaskets uh it does have a gas leak underneath the truck one of the lines is dripping a little bit little spider webs there but uh and then redo the body work redo the body work and get her all uh all squared away again uh and then after that we will uh oh yeah yeah that's what we're going to do next uh monday i will probably uh have the silverado finished uh and then we'll work on fixing the body work and touching it back up and getting her back in shape it shouldn't take much uh, but an update on Willie uh, Willie just completely needs a new intake system intake manifold and uh, we're going to slate him for next week sometime also and get him back together uh, and after that and we'll put up some more ice cream videos uh, probably this Labor Day weekend, which is starting tomorrow. Uh, we'll be putting up some videos for Labor Day weekend. Uh, the other thing, the other thing is uh, the 2010 BMW 535i. Uh, wow. Wow. I need one of those just quieter uh, the BMW we will be putting it together uh, it will probably go uh, rust-oleum turbo spray black okay because we're not professionals around here at least fat boy Jim ain't uh, but we try to keep them on the road looking halfway decent and that's how it's going to go uh, Silverado Willie BMW and if we're still got some decent weather, I'm hoping we'll get around to Greta. But it's time to grind them out, folks. And I haven't posted for a couple days, so I wanted to touch base with you. Let you know Willie's down. Uh, that's what's going on. Just wanted to give everybody a little update and uh, do the uh, Rust-Oleum uh, review. I definitely highly recommend the Rust-Oleum uh, Turbo Spray. Really, really good stuff. With that, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, have a great day.